What is up guys, welcome to FC365 TV iDevice Central channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix your device if it's in recovery mode and moreover if it's in hardened recovery mode. Now there are two different types of recovery modes on an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod uh, in which you can, uh, you can get. The first one is a soft recovery mode. You can, um, you can actually trigger the soft recovery mode by pressing the button combination and you will get up with the iTunes logo and the power cable. And of course the second one which the phone end up in recovery mode and anything you use, anything you do such as RecBot, Reboot, uh, FC365, Exit recovery mode and anything like that won't work. In such scenario, it means your device is in a uh, in a forced recovery mode created by iBoot. So desperate desperate situations require desperate measures. In this situation, we're going to use iRecovery, a CLI application created for communication with iBoot and exploitation for iBoot exploits. But the ability of this application to communicate with the iBoot is exactly what is going to save our device from being restored. So we're going to fix the uh, recovery mode without restoring and wiping anything from the phone. Okay, so this might not work for any scenario of recovery mode. Depends on how you ended up in recovery mode. If you deleted some important system files, do not expect this to work. But if you simply ended up in this uh, recovery mode without deleting any system files, then it might work for you. It's worth a try. Okay, so... Um, this is as far as you can get with fixing the recovery mode. It's the most the most complicated way in order to fix it. So let's get to work. The first thing you need is iRecovery CLI and Live USB 0 driver pack. At first, you need to connect your iPhone in recovery mode to the computer. Mine is an iPhone 4S running iOS 9.3.1. And I gotta go here to binary. You can download everything I show you in the description. I put direct links. And you have here INF Wizard. You click on it, you run it, and this program will create a name file, whatever. You click next, and from the list you have here, select Apple Mobile Device Recovery Mode. You have the parameters, you click next, and save what you create on your desktop. Now you click Install Driver. Yes, you will be prompted to install an unsigned driver. You click yes, install this driver software anyway. And uh, the installation might not take uh, more than one minute or so. And let me show you the behavior of the phone for the moment if I, uh, I am able to. I'm going to try to open iTunes and uh, see what happens. I doubt, by the way. Okay, it takes too much. Uh, okay, installation successful. I gotta close this for the moment. Now we need to go back and use iRecovery, okay? So I am in uh, recovery mode and I want to take it off. I gotta go to CMD, open a CMD application, drag the iRecovery right here, take a space and write a uh, line and S. Welcome. So I boot for N94, copyright 20, uh, 2007, uh, 2015, I boot version, release, and so on. So now in this point we are connected using recovery mode to the to the phone itself and we can send him comments. The first thing you need to write is set env, which means set environment, leave a space, write auto boot, auto bot, and say true. And press enter. The next one you need to do is save env, save environment. Press enter and now write reboot. And the phone will restart, it will show the Apple logo and you should be out of the, uh, out of the recovery mode. As I said, this um, this fix works for um, for any kind of recovery mode um, uh, errors, but it's uh, designed to work with that kind of recovery mode that you restart your phone and it ends up in recovery mode over and over again. And anything you try, such as Recboot, uh, Tiny Umbrella, and so on, won't fix the issue. 
So um, yeah, if this if if this one won't fix your issue, then unfortunately anything you can do more is to restore your device. But before you restore your device when it is in the um, in the recovery mode, you might want to try this thing because it might work and you might save the data from your device. Okay, my phone started normally, it vibrated, as you can see, I got iPhone right here. Probably iTunes will also start to see it. It's in the hello screen, but this might not, uh, might not be bad. Okay. Okay, we have the phone right here and probably I'm prompted to activate it or something. Yeah, but as you can see the phone started normally and I am able to activate it and so on. This is basically it guys, This, as I said this is as far as you can go with um, with this fixings. It's the most um, complicated fix you can find, even if it's not that complicated to apply. It's complicated because we are using a uh, development tool created especially for sending iBoot exploits in communication with uh, iBoot in general. But as I said, the um, desperate situations require desperate measures. Okay, so as I uh, as I shown you, I didn't restore my phone. Thanks for watching and don't don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you find this video useful. And till the next time, see ya.